go figure, but in the time since I recorded the beginning of this series, uh, we weren't able to get the Halo group together to continue that playthrough for a particular day, so Bird and I started our next playthrough, which is the DLC for Remnant before uh, from the Ashes, so now I'm playing both the sequel and the prequel to Remnant at the same time. Ooh. Funny how things just line up that way. Uh, this is probably a bad idea because of him having hit scan. Uh, oh, here he is. Are they, are they gonna follow me in here? They probably are, aren't they? Uh oh. <laughs> I've chosen poorly. Maybe they get bored and go away? So we beat a boss last time, so it's time to get some equipment crafted. Which works much, be much better if they don't follow me in here. Okay. Tis as I feared. You do not have the eye. The task is hopeless. What? What? Um... I thought I did it. <laughs> so I beat- I beat the boss. I thought that was the guy, right? I guess that wasn't it. Unless I somehow failed to loot it or something. Oh well. And now I have, at least now I have the key to... Oh god. Now... At least I have the key to various doors, which I'll have to figure out how to get there. Although, it's a different session, I'm a little worried I might have trouble finding where to go. Shit. This is a really bad situation to be in, honestly. I'm pretty fucked. Oh, what did I do? What did I, wait, what did, what did I do? What, what does X do? I don't... Please lock on, huh? Whose health bar am I looking at right now? How glitched is this game right now? What is happening? What? The lock-in mechanics are busted. I'm like locking in, but it doesn't like make me face the enemy correctly. Oh, that's fucking weird. And then they die, and it doesn't remember. Um... Okay, so I just lost a lot- of, like, I just lost a lot of health that I can't get back due to that situation I got into. Can't believe this is running. <laughs> it feels so slow. Alright. We rebooted, but every time I launch the game now, it opens on the wrong monitor and not the one that I played it on last time. And I'm not really sure why that's happening. But it doesn't seem to ever be fixed. Like, it it'll just never remember that I switched it to the other monitor last time. And there's no in-game settings for which monitor to open on. But it keeps defaulting to the wrong monitor. And I don't know why, because nothing else is doing that? That's weird. So I always have to do the switching thing, which means it might always cause bugs if that was the cause of the bug, or... Whatever was going on with the lock-on mechanic, but that- whatever- that, that broken lock-on stuff might have been caused by fighting in a... Uh... In a NPC room, because they didn't want to go in there? I don't know. guy's really durable. Okay. Okay, what do, what do I do with this guy? Uh... I can kind of shove him that way? Which is like, I'm trying to think of like, how do I get past his shield? Ow, shit. Cause he really just tanks up like an asshole. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing about that most of the time. He eventually can be hit kind of- yeah. Okay, I mean, I guess we just keep hammering away. 
Sorry, I have to remind myself. What 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 was X doing? Where are the controls? Options, hints. Okay, then there's a nested menu for uh, X is Dragon Stone Ability. Uh I must have had enough of it that I could activate it a moment ago. <clears throat> so I was like, huh, oh, X did a thing, but I'm out of healing, so how did it do a thing? This large fortified shield is almost big enough to cover your entire body. I can get a new shield. With 300 blocking power. The kite shield cannot be used to parry as quickly as other smaller shields. It is a big, chunky shield. But if X is that, I have to remind myself how to... He Consume Dragonheart is Y. Y is healing. Okay. They move them all around. <gasps> okay, I'm fine. Was there anything else up there? <laughs> Did it really mean to just jump in a hole? That was all me. Oh, yeah, there is something up here. A loot box. You pick them up and then you loot them. I'm not sure why. It's got. This viscous substance exudes traces of enemies' foul power. Dragon oil. It seems drawn to the odd shards found in the dragon's domain, so much so that if applied to those shards, it begins to reveal their true nature, uncovering the shards' mystical qual qualities. So I think they mean go to the... The bonfire thing? Are those the shards? And then the oil does something new with it? Or am I thinking of the wrong thing? What are you called? There's no menu here, so I can't, like, use it on it. Or does it just mean my... Uh, fuck these menus. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> no, the, <clears throat> it just means they is a dragon shard... Combine? The glimmer of magic shines much more strongly with this incandescent splinter than from its commonly found counterparts. Did it used to say the title of the item here on the screen? There's a weird blank space between the description and the OK button, almost like it used to say the title. I feel like it used to say the title of the item there, name of the item there, because it feels weird without it. You have no doubt that allowing such a shard to bond with one of your weapons will elevate its capabilities to new heights of destruction. Okay. Do you upgrade it via here? So I need eight shards to hit the next level of sword. So maybe I've made a mistake and by turning it red? If it bonds my weapon, it elevates stuff, but I can't combine it with my weapon from this menu. The rare dragon shard. And this menu doesn't let me use the rare dragon shard either. Yeah, I can only use regular dragon shards. Upgrade, also uses regular. So that may have been a mistake to upgrade, to mix those now. Maybe I'll avoid mixing them in the future until I actually hit the point where my item wants me to put rare dragon shards in it. That must be like a, that must be like a higher tier. But like I need so many dragon. Huh! I almost did it again. I need so many dragon t shards just to reach the next tier. And that's not where I am. Just like in general. Ah. Alright, I just lost lock on by d dodging. That's unfortunate. Oh, shit. I dodged it. Stop losing lock on! Okay, I'm losing patience with this game a little bit on its, uh, on its combat. 
fidelity. Uh, I tried, I was like trying to like not spend too much time talking about how awkward the combat feels all the time. And like, let's see if I'd get grow used to it. And again, because you get the fucking cavalcade, people, stop blaming the game for your own ineptitude and stuff like that. But I'm like, it's getting really, <laughs> feels really janky, honestly. The king is mad, the cyclops mourns, and the dragon sits upon the throne. Beware the great red eye. And like, I want to like this game because like the art style is pretty alright, and the uh... There's like charming stuff, like the teleporter portal that changes your size, and like... Being attacked by a giant, but then turning into the giant's size to fight him and stuff like that. Like that's... There's a lot of this game that like, looks like it'd be neat. So I want to like it, so I'm like, come on, let's be patient. Instead of growing us, but like, if I'm dodging away from an enemy and the lock-on turns off... No, <laughs> that's not good. Don't do that. Horn. Other horns. Oh. There's four sets of horns and probably four masks. Or something. I don't even know if it's for, but there's masks and horns, so I need to like identify the correct appearance, I guess. Hmm. I like that this developer likes to put puzzles in their games. I like that about them, but it's very, I'm talking about a very specific. I'm phrasing that very specifically, because I there's parts of their puzzles I don't really like. So I'm playing because I'm, I'm getting reminded of this because we also start playing Remnant from the Ashes again for the DLC, and I'm like, huh. I once again appreciate that like exploring the whole area, like uncovers puzzles and there's like little things to do, and in, in particular during the uh, what you might call some DLC, the subject whatever number DLC. I uncovered a puzzle that like, I felt satisfied for solving. Here's the way forward, okay. Ooh, two ways. But at the same time, they, uh, some of their puzzles just suffer from like the sheer amount of like... <laughs> the amount of like real estate the game has sometimes. Uh, the sheer square footage of it all can be rough. Oh, shit. How? I must be lining up my... I must be missing the iframes and the dodge when I get hit by the shield. Probably. But I, I think that to some extent, especially when they're making the Remnant DLC and stuff like that, they could learn a bit from like, huh? Okay, we'll finish this thought after I'm not about to die to two guys at once. But I got died really quickly. And then my lock on went away, which is, stop doing that. <laughs> Dude, this guy's so much more durable than the other guy is. It's not really apparent from their appearances necessarily. Oh, that's, I'm happy he's staggered because the first attack. Okay, and I also healed. I leveled up. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy he staggered because the uh, the first, the first, the, 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 I did a dodge and so on. Then he was definitely coming back with another attack immediately afterwards. Do I want to go out there or do I want to go the other way? Because there's two directions. Let's check if that one was a brief dead end or not. Like they could learn a lot from I think from playing Resident Evil games, like Resident Evil One's remake, and like get a feel for just how much real estate is given to the environment. So I was, obviously, I could say they could learn a lot from playing Dark Souls, but they presumably did. And also, Dark Souls doesn't really have puzzles in that way. There's occasionally weird moments in Dark Souls that are puzzle-adjacent, but definitely not to the extent that the Remnant game, Remnant and Kronos have. Okay, so that doesn't knock his shield away. 
necessarily. There we go. But obviously, like, Resident Evil and Silent Hill and stuff like that, but especially Resident Evil, uh, have a really specific, like, ratio of, like, how much space is given to the environment, and also, like, how many memorable landmarks are planted throughout that environment. Oh. You alright? Uh, oh, I cannot escape this with my left... Okay, okay. Maybe this game's just janky as fuck. <laughs> I'm trying to get through a sentence and then that happens. The bag is too small to be utilized for harvest. I swear they used to say items. I... No, I'm not gonna do it. I was about to, like, look up my own previous video, but I'm like, I'd have to, like... Potentially skip around for a while to find a part of the video where I pick up an item to tell whether or not it used to have the item title. The bag of corn. It seems more like something for personal use. Combine? I can combine it with something. Interestingly, does combine show up on every item? Yes. Okay, so maybe it doesn't mean anything. I was noticing the inert dragon heart has combined. I'm like, mm, maybe there's items that can refill your dragon hearts? Maybe? That's That thing is clipping through the side of the pot. Which is unfortunate, because they placed it that way. It's, oh, this guy again. Ah, that reached me. Oh, I really wish the follow attack would, would would hit more reliably. Ah, shit. There we go. I'm not getting through these fights without taking hits. But yeah, like, there's a certain, uh... ...design to, like, Resident Evil environments. And obviously you'd want, like, a bit more square footage than that, because that's a, a, clo a claustrophobic, ho claustrophobic horror game. <clears throat> but, you know, the interconnected environment, and then, like, the occasional puzzles here and there and so on, like... You need to have, like, a really concrete idea of where you are, like, all the time in a game like that. And a really good sense of place in order to be able to piece these puzzles together. And the puzzles themselves have to be, like, really memorable, and also in a place where you'll easily be able to find them again. Because if any part of that falters, it can be rough. And I haven't played a, I haven't done a ton of the puzzles in this game yet, so I don't have the best idea of how it's going to play out. But in Remnant in particular, I'm noticing that they give you these massive facilities that are incredibly... Oh god, I'm going to die. Ugh. Get out. Talking and playing games at the same time is hard. Fuck up. Oh, he's too short. Fucker's too short, my attack went over his head. Really? That's, that's a little rough. You really want to trust your NPC. Your, I mean, you're not not your NPC. You're, you're, you're literal C. <laughs> your PC. Uh, you want to trust your character to aim at the enemy when they attack. <laughs> when you're using lock-on. So when the attack goes over their head, you're like, Come on, man, we have a contract. <laughs> but, uh... The environments are fucking massive in Remnant. Can I turn this? Is it a puzzle? Hey, that's cute. Observational thing, probably a secret. That's handy. Ooh, it looks cool. A weapon of recognizable Krell construction. The axe, while sharp, is too heavy to use gracefully. Another axe. Or maybe... Maybe this is the axe you could have started with? Krell axe. So it's a, yeah, it's a strength weapon, so it's kind of useless to me, because I've already committed. If wielded with a proper amount of force, it's sure to deal considerable damage to one's foe. For a strength weapon, it's actually pretty... wow. It's pretty agile and fast. Wasn't this, like, way slower? Yeah, this is a, this is a strength weapon. Oh my god, look how slow it is. But this isn't at all? Which is kind of weird. Oh well. It's immediately irrelevant to this playthrough because it's not the build I chose. So it's only relevant if I can sell it or something. But yeah, I'm noticing that like in... 
it, uh, the environment is so incredibly massive in Remnant that when I'm running around with Bird, it takes like an hour just to get an idea of our objective and make some progress sometimes. And then other parts of the game are just like a bunch of areas you just shoot through and then that's all you do, but... Doop. But other parts of the game, it's like here is this massive, endless facility and eventually you'll realize that this one panel in the corner of one room could use a fuse. And so then, this so begins your massive search for a fuse, which is somewhere, maybe? And you're not really sure. And you're like, wow, a fuse is very small, and this level's very big. And it's like, there's five floors, and every floor has like 20 rooms, and you're like, I, there's like one puzzle, and I, I need to do that to proceed. And it could be anywhere. Oh no. So hopefully this game does a better job than Remnant. Huh. Do I have a locket? That for some reason? Inventory is growing. Okay. So I need to get a piece of canvas on a painting, then remember where this was. Let's see. Uh, do I need to write it? No, let's not write it down. I don't really know how to write down where this is. And writing down a painting needs a chunk of painting or whatever. It's kind of unnecessary, because once I find a piece of painting, I'll be like, aha, this goes into a, a full painting somewhere. And then I'll remember that there I found a painting with a piece missing. Oh god, where do I go now? Uh... Right, this was like the other direct- right, I can still go into that big- yeah, okay, so this is me checking out the other dead end. Which turned out to have a fair amount of stuff in it, as it turns out. Now I can go back to that clearing. So I need to figure out how to fill in the weird... glyph of, like, someone's head that has a mask and horns. <clears throat> Gotta keep that in mind, but, like, every enemy looks like that, kind of? I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna know the answer. I guess they don't necessarily all have horns. I'm used to them having horns in Remnant, but not in this game. Maybe that's the part of that. Oh, he just punches me! Lock on. Why would my lock on turn off when I activate my power? Oh, he's glitched out. That's not good game. Oh, this game's really janky. Ow, shit. Hit him once, hit him once, hit him once. Oh god, I- oh, thank god I leveled up. Okay, fun fact, if the enemy goes in the bushes, the lock-on goes away, even if I'm currently fighting him, and it's not- definitely not a stealth situation. That's, a uh, A thing. Okay, maybe that's it, okay. So, crying face, three danglies. Okay, so we found that. That's probably it. That's probably it. It looks like they're keeping things smarter in this game. I tried to find a, a store listing from this game and I couldn't. From the back in the day. Because supposedly, uh, this isn't really a prequel so much as a game they made first. But they made it for VR. Uh, and then they made... Remnant from the Ashes is a sequel. So I think this game was just called Kronos before, not Kronos before the Ashes. I mean, before as in like it used to be called Kronos, not... It was called... It wasn't called Kronos before. <laughs> That'd be really weird. And then they add the Ashes. Uh, I think it was called Kronos. And then I think they added before the Ashes when they were then releasing it on a wider platforms as a prequel, but it was originally a just a, the, for the original game. But I don't think anyone knew it existed, really, because it was VR exclusive, and I'm confused by that, because I'm not sure what seems VR-ish about this game. I'm assuming it wasn't first person. That would be weird. So I guess it was just like a... Isn't it an immersive how you're playing this third person game, but from a VR perspective? Which I, like... I guess there's an appeal to that sometimes. Trover Saves the Universe works that way, but I'm not sure why. Although I think they released Trover on non-VR platforms eventually or something. And, uh... 
Okay, here we go. There's the three danglies. There's the crying face. Did I do it wrong? Oh, that, that's, a, that's a better crying face. It's definitely the three danglies. I think it was this one. Oh. Fuck. There's three layers. I gotta go back and check what his robe looked like. Whoops. I didn't realize that the mask and the bottom layer were two separate layers. One game I'd like to try out one day, although hopefully it's not exclusive to a different VR headset or something, is Moss. And I guess I guess that game might play into the like the idea more that you're playing a third person game, but from VR, because you're specifically like guiding around a little mouse, and so there's a, so like the scale of you looking down at something is like very intended as part of the experience. Uh. Oh no, yeah, this 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 easy to miss door here. Gotta get track back to where we were. So far, they seem to put the puzzle me mechanics close enough to each other that you can, like, keep track of where they are and not forget about them, because they were, like, an hour ago. So the... What I was talking... Okay, let's get, let's get this color down. Yellow shoulders, green chest. When I was talking about the, the, the idea that supposedly this came out first and is not a prequel, is that it's tempting to think that they're learning from their mistakes from Remnant with how messy the puzzles were in that game. And like the puzzles themselves could sometimes be interesting, like the the, the grid puzzle I solved in episode one of the DLC, uh, which I think has come out by now. Uh, like that was really satisfying. And in that case, it was all in one room. But in other situations, they scatter the elements all over the place. I went the wrong way just now. Like, it's tempting, to, to, because this game's coming out now, at least it feels like it's coming out now, because no one seems to be that aware that it ever existed before now. Uh, it's tempting to say that they're learning from their mistakes from that game, but if, but seemingly this game came out first. I'm so turned around. Where was the statue now? And if it came out first, it kind of gives you a, a, the question of, like, well, then what went wrong? with uh, Remnant, why are its puzzles worse? And I, But I guess that must have to do with the fact that they made that game procedurally generated, and that it, re it, re it rearranges itself from session to session, which um, is certainly a choice. I don't know if I like that idea. I don't, I don't know if that was a great idea. Huh. I think its shoulders were sticking up. There we go. A new sword. At first glance, this weapon seems to be a finely wrought sword, its keen edge gleaming in the flickering light. I should probably just not read those anymore, and read them here. Oh, it's not a weapon. A decorative blade. But a closer look reveals it to be a mere replica, which would no doubt break immediately if used in combat decorative blade. Yeah, I should just stop reading the descriptions when I pick them up and then I'll just open them up here and read them here. Because not only does the, is the name of the item there, but the rest of the description is. In that case, it, that was almost like a self-parody because the description was like, it seems like this or whatever. And then just stopped. And then the full description says, but actually it's a completely different thing. It's not even a weapon. Uh, but you had to read the full one. And that pickup screen both doesn't infer that there is more text to come, and doesn't tell you the name of the item. So it's kind of a mess. I'm not sure how they landed there. They could have put the t description and the name on the same screen. Easily. Maybe it's a bug? Or at the very least, just show the name of the thing. And like a button for more information to skip to that menu option, that'd be nice. Yeah, I've looked at, at gameplay footage of Trover Saves the Universe, and I feel like this game might have been similar. Where it's just like, you're just controlling a, a dude on the screen, but for some reason, 
It's built around the idea of being from a VR perspective, which mostly just makes the camera weirder. Ah, you didn't have a sword to begin with. So now I know why I did this. <clears throat> Oh, I thought I thought something bad was gonna happen. We're good. It's funny I go on my on my puzzle rant, but actually these are some of the more solid puzzles right now. I would say that maybe the opening level was kind of the rougher moment in this game, where it starts so slow with zero combat, but also kind of an obtuse like find the hidden object puzzle, where you have to where you don't really have that much idea that it. That's how the game works until then, either. Are you missing something? It lets me look at it like it's a puzzle. I think it's just to look at it. That guy's gonna be a problem. He looks agile. And threatening. Shortcut? Nope. There's a caster back there. I'll be on the other side of that door eventually, damn it. But this being their first game does help explain, maybe, the stiffness of the combat. Which people take as a granted for Souls-like games and Monster Hunter games and so on, but like, no, I mean like, even by their standards, you'd be surprised by how this game feels to play. Hey, buddy. Honestly, I really feel like I've already been here. <laughs> oh. Stop losing lock on. Is it the bushes that are just screwing me over? Let's keep an eye on the bushes and see if that's always why I lose lock on. Well, that one time I lost lock on because I was inside somebody's house, right? There was no bushes there. Um, this might be a good time to have a heal. <clears throat> I think that's the eye that that guy wants me to get. Are you an NPC, maybe? Maybe he's friendly? This is definitely a big enough room for a fight, though. Oh, it's the boss. These have been rare. Oh, shit. God, my dodge is very small. But it does have iframes, though. Wait, did that hurt me? That seems a little rude. No follow-up attack. I've got bad news for you, cause I'm currently invulnerable, so you can go fuck yourself. This might be overpowered- uh oh. Ah! Ah, these damage values. Okay. Damn. I made it pretty far though. That's not so bad. It's gonna take so many shards to get my next upgrade. I wonder if you're just meant to grind in like an almost Hades kind of way where you just keep looping and looping and looping and looping? Hmm. How am I doing? Like, I've killed a lot of dudes, but yeah, I've only got three dragon shards. And one rare dragon shard. My next upgrade costs eight, and that's only for five face damage. Oh, I, I leveled up again. You definitely, <laughs> definitely get a lot more from leveling up, it seems. Overall. You ever talk to me again? Only when I come back with like a main progression. Okay, so I thought the other giant, because he was a giant, 
was what the other guy wanted me to get. Maybe it's this other giant. Okay, so they don't seem to follow me through staircases, right? Or ladders? Wasn't there a ladder here? There's not a ladder. I'm a fool. Uh, I'm probably gonna- I might pay the price here. Like, I, I want to keep my healing intact if I can when I go into this boss fight, but that doesn't work if they all chase me, so we'll see if that happens or not. This is a fair amount of distance. I feel like they might not follow me this far. Before I aggro this guy, let's check. I feel like they might have stopped. Okay, so I think we can do attempts on this boss without starting- Oh, I was really close to the threshold, apparently. Ah, oh my god, that's so much damage. Oh, god damn it. Holy crap, man. I've been stacking vitality and I take that much damage. Holy crap, would he have one-shot me before? That was so much. Maybe he wouldn't have followed me over this cliff, so maybe I don't have to fight him either, actually. Enemies don't seem to like cliffs and ladders. That sounds like a... Cliffs and ladders sounds like a Dark Souls version of a children's board game. Okay, so that phase two is gonna be rough when he whips out a fucking melee weapon. Man. I can kind of- I can iframe dodge through his big punches because they're really telegraphed, but that melee weapon was a lot faster and longer range. You definitely can't- because of the very slow movement speed and how not very far this roll goes and how slow it is, it's like a fat roll from Dark Souls. Uh, I can't really control my distance from the enemy. So I, I kind of like subconsciously, I kind of like constantly spiral backwards at diagonally away from enemies in melee games. Uh, as people have seen, I'm always backing away, trying to control the distance between us a bit, while also kind of spinning, because I want to have a- partly because spinning makes it so that I don't just back into a wall. Uh, that helps me potentially be at a distance where I can make it so that I, I can force them to miss via distance and then go in for a hit and stuff like that. Uh, this guy has a huge range advantage on me, so it's not really an option. And I, I honestly- it's gonna be hard to get, to get it down enough to be able to dodge past every attack. I guess one thing is that uh, I should probably do my best to get through phase one, which is at least half of his health bar, if not two, if not three fourths of his health bar. I, I don't remember. I didn't keep track of exactly the threshold uh, without using my dragon power. Because if I turn invincible during the club part, then I can just get away with just DPSing through it without having to deal with the consequences of actually dodging it, because that might be hard. We'll see. That earthquake attack's a bit of a problem. Ah, shit. There it is. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Jesus fucking Christ. What are these damage values? Alright. <laughs> That's out of control, man. <laughs> Why do I have a health bar? Alright. Alright. Mm. I don't know, man. I might end up regretting doing this playthrough. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's that's pretty out of control. That's pretty out of fucking control. I'm stacking vitality. I put a po I have put 50% of all of my experience points into vitality, and that's wh where I'm at on durability right now.
And this is the game where your heal takes like 10 seconds to pull off, so you better run far away. Or preferably just never have to use it during a fight. Oh, that reset my entire meter. Ah, shit. I really fucked that up. Hmm. Yeah, he hasn't followed me. It's rough because so far he seems like an incredibly, like, elementarily easy... Like, elementary level, super easy boss fight by the standards of this genre. But he just two-shots you. And you're like, oh! That seems... like a bit much, bro. I don't know about that. You missed two- you missed, like, one dodge sequence, so you're dead. It's like, oh. Rude. <laughs> Jesus. Ow. Oh god. This is gonna work. Oh, see, that's what I was worrying about. I was like, he didn't hear something else, didn't he? Yep. So I want to bait out is a really easy to dodge attack. Because his other attack's like really fucking untelegraphed and too fast and, he and really sweeping. His sweep? Yeah. Yeah, for a moment there, I was like, "What was I? Why was I ever afraid of the cl of his club phase? He's super easy." And then, the, yeah, that one little quick attack snuck out. I'm like, "Oh fuck, that's why <laughs> that attack <laughs> is really fast and not it's does it's not very set up." And you're like, "Oh shit, here we go." But then, like, yeah, then he gets in this feet. What a weird difficulty level to have. Because then I, cause I was like, man, that, this might be rough, but then I'm like, nope, I can just literally get him into a, a feedback loop of one attack over and over again, and just uh, have an infinite loop where I win. Hmm. Energy hums from the spherical stone, vibrating deep within your bones. Its power courses through you. I think that's what the, the blacksmith wanted. Okay. So... I can see this game taking on its own strange dynamic, where I think I'm gonna look forward to the exploring and puzzles the most. And the combat less so, and maybe the boss fights least of all? Visually, the boss fights are neat. They're, they're cool looking dudes. And, especially the first boss fight, like, had a, like, context that was really cool. And I liked that. I liked the, all the lead up to the boss fight. But the boss fights themselves so far... Kind of seem really awkward, and, and it feels kind of like it's like stiff to the point of becoming unfair to some extent. So you kind of have to like, oh, is he gonna see me? I just wanted to open the shortcut. I didn't want to start the fight. No. Ah, Jesus! Ah, stop it! I can't- fuck, 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 fuck! Ugh. Okay, this is gonna be a- this is gonna be a rough playthrough. It's gonna be a rough playthrough! Uh. There's a handful of encounters... 
in Dark Souls where it feels where you can like trick a really cheesy thing into happening and that's like it kind of feels like the best way to do the encounter. Uh, and that's kind of feels like what's happening here. I got to think about how, like I had so much trouble with the dra the not the dragon god. The um the dragon god is a stupid weird gimmick fight. Uh it's easily the worst part of Demon Souls. Uh the ancient dragon. The ancient dragon basically one-shots you if you make any mistakes. Which was just kind of frustrating and irritating. Uh, but I found that if I hung out, like, between his toes on one of his feet, that he would consistently and always, uh, I have to go all the way around because then they won't chase me. He would consistently and always do the same stomping attack over and over again. So you would like, st you would like itch, you would like itch his toes so that he would try to stomp, then dodge the stomp over and over again. Just bait the stomp, dodge the stomp, and that was the whole fight. So suddenly this incredibly difficult fight became like nothing. These ga these boss fights are not as complicated and advanced as the Ancient Dragon, but they they can very quickly be baited into an infinite loop. And so the two boss fights I've done so far, I pretty much just started baiting one attack over and over again, and then dodging it the, the same way and attacking the same way over and over again until it died. And that's not a very interesting encounter to have, but at the same time, some of the other attacks feel so, like, poorly telegraphed and kind of unfair and incredibly punishing that, like, it feels like the best way to go in many cases, so I don't know, man. Huh. I did not want to bait that fight, but that went so much worse than I thought it could. Yeah, one of the things, he has that, that guy has a headbutt that is, oh, fuck. He has an aggro range. Crap. This guy's headbutt is not very... Like, his, his swings... Are, yeah, his his weapon swings are really telegraphed, but his, his headbutt is rough. And his punch is pretty rough. And then because he's a huge dick, he pinned me in a corner and I couldn't escape. That was incredibly unfortunate. Ow, shit. I'm getting better, though. For me, it's like, I don't know, I have some mixed feelings, because it's not completely wrong for them to have some kind of quick attacks that don't have, like, an hour of lead-up time to warn you for them. It's just that, like, there's they're so punishing that it feels... it ends up feeling unfair because of the sheer amount of damage that they do. Hello, guys. You get... Oh! Please hit all of them. Yes! What? There's a ladder here? Wait, is that, is that the ladder I came from? I think it is. No, go back. Okay. I get you. So ladders are, ladders are completely automated. <laughs> they do the entire ladder if you press A near them. Which is rough if an item drops next to one. Oh, that's two shards. Okay, let's deal with this person first. Please don't kill me, I don't want to lose all these upgrades. Oh cool, a heal. Okay, I gotta level up, I got two more shards. Looks to be part of a much more massive painting. There we go, there's the painting chunk. There's a deity figure here. Alright. Alright. Sorry, the the rants came out today. <laughs> oh god, everyone's still here. But uh, yeah, I, I hit my boiling point a little bit with the slowly getting more frustrated with this game. I want to like it. The enemy designs are cool, and like I, I like the I like the puzzle layout stuff a fair amount. Uh, I'm going. I'm going the wrong way. This is how you aggro too many enemies. I don't think he dropped a shard. But, uh... Yeah, really the game's most glaring issue is just that, like, the combat doesn't feel good. And it's like a combat-oriented genre to some extent. And so if the, com if the combat feels like something's wrong with it, then 
Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're off on a bad start. 